Show. I've got Jason Castriota with me. Hello Jason. How you doing? Alright, you're going to give us a quick uh, walk around the car and uh, just tell us all about it. Sure, it'll be a pleasure. Basically what we wanted to do is we really wanted to tap back into those aerospace roots, the, the real wing plane fuselage and the teardrop canopy laid on top of that. Of course what you see here is a very futuristic extension of that idea, you know, with a lot more expression and muscle. But, you know, to make this even more of a concept, you know, we've even painted it in this almost mercury-like liquid metal, which really gives the appearances as we take this form, we've taken this form, we've thrown it in the wind tunnel and then shot mercury over it. So uh, it's a very exciting project. It's a provocative project. It's served exactly the purpose we wanted to create conversation and interest in Saab. The stand's been full in continuation, so uh, yeah. very good stuff. A lot of That's fun. That's worked out. So can you, uh, you know, a lot of people are sort of saying, well, what are the uh, what are the Saab cues in this car? So can you maybe take us through some of the links, uh, you know, to a little bit of heritage and, sure. and maybe tell us how those have evolved? Well, the idea, of course, evolved really from the ore. You know, that idea of, that, again, that almost teardrop-like fuselage, you know, with the wing plane shape, so you can see that as it wraps around the nose and, and sweeps rearward. And then again, the teardrop canopy, and if we walk around to the rear of the car, you can really see and get a sense of that. And maybe you can even plan up a bit with your camera. Yeah. So we're looking at the, uh, at the glass section here. So as you can see, what we've really done is we've encased really all the mechanicals, the passengers, and the luggage bay in this like you know what we're referring to as the ice block this giant block of ice and then we've poured this liquid skin over it you know yeah. in the wind tunnel and just so you guys know this the cx the cd on this car is 0.25 which is really exceptional for a car of this size with a large wheel and tire package you know everything you see here is functional there's nothing superfluous so the buttresses which of course are the most controversial element it's something that i've played with a lot in other designs actually helps the channel air between the buttress and the greenhouse yeah as it enters the air compresses it accelerates it creates a vortex which helps to create more air arriving on the rear spoiler creating greater downforce without drag right yeah they uh, you're right in that they have been the most controversial aspect but they we do expected that. We yeah expected that. yeah of course they, but they do actually serve a very important aerodynamic Absolutely. purpose well, everything does and even the body side you know when you look at the lower area of the rocker behind the front wheel that's a pressure release zone yeah. so what you have there is you have an open area, this is something you see frequently on Le Mans cars, what, there's a lot of turbulent air that builds up in the wheel well. That allows the air to escape, allows more air to remain attached to the side of the car, which again keeps drag low because the velocity of the air moving across the car is faster. And it stays attached to the car to the rear where we have the cam tail, which a lot of you will remember from the Sonnet, of course. Yeah. The cam back was you know, an aerodynamic experiment done many, many years ago from the 50s onwards, really. And that again helps the air to detach cleanly at the rear of the car, keeping the wake behind the car very, 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 very pure. Yeah. Same thing on the rear. We have another air release zone. Again, we're allowing the turbulent air to exit from the rear of the car. And then we have a true diffuser on the car, which again is cleaning airflow under the car. So everything you see here is really all about tapping into that true heritage of aerodynamic function-driven performance. Yeah. You know, in addition to that, what's exciting about this car is that this is built on our new Phoenix platform, hence the name. And as you can see at the front end of the car, we've been able to finally reduce the front overhang significantly on the new platform. Yeah. Uh, we have a much rounder plan view, which is something that Saab has seen in a lot of concept cars, but has yet to produce on a production car. The new 9.3 will have that. Yeah. We've also been able to move that front wheel forward a bit, which gives it more geometric strength from the A-pillar. Gives it a bit more of a premium feel, a more proud front end. And a lot of what you see on the front end, if we return there, in terms of the strength of the volumes and the characters of this car is, is what you're going to see in the production line three, including, I'm proud to say, the clamshell hood. Yeah, yeah. So, was this, this was an engineering feat, and uh, we're very, very proud of it. So. Yeah. So just going back to the, the platform underneath this, you know, a lot of concept cars are just made up to show at the show, and they're, they're basically like a kit, but underneath this is true actual Saab Phoenix engineering. That's right, and I think that's almost what maybe scares people a lot, because, you know, it's one thing to present a, a far-reaching aesthetic concept that's clearly a sculpture, uh, clearly a, a design exercise, but it's the fact that this is tapping into really feeling very much like a real car that is throwing people off so much, because it's very futuristic. And again, the idea behind this is to broaden our bandwidth in the design spectrum for Saab. To maintain our roots, so in this car, of course, we really wanted to tap into the more fluid, organic forms from earlier Saabs and push that forward. 
not to worry, we're definitely not throwing out all that was great about soft design before, particularly with the Aero X series of concept cars, the Bio X Hybrid, that we now see in the 9.5 and the 9.4 X. It's about creating these two poles, bookends, if you will. Yeah. On one end of the spectrum, we have that cool, minimalist, geometric aesthetic from the last generation of concept cars, which was very much an evolution of where Saab has been for quite a while, and very, let's say, near to production in terms of its feasibility, to something that is more expressive, more aerodynamically driven, more fluid, more emotional, to really celebrate, again, the passion that you know, we all found in Saab over yeah. the past year. And between these two poles, we're gonna fill in the line. So, you know, as different models have to fall along different areas of this spectrum, you know, a larger series car, a more understated car like the 9.5, or who knows, someday a 9.7, would of course be closer to that more understated minimalist appearance, but perhaps something sporty and fun and young will of course be more aggressive, more, uh, a bit more dynamic and expressive in, yeah. its, uh, in its design. And so, realistically speaking, you know, what can people look forward to coming out of this um, into the, you know, the, the front end of the new 93 will look something like this one that we're looking at here? Yeah, well, this is obviously a much more abstract, extreme version of what you're going to see on the 93, of course, but the general character, the strength, the volume, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, there are actually no physical lines on the car. It's all about the form and the volume of the air whipping around this car in an effective manner. So yeah. you're going to see quite a bit of this. In terms of the graphics of the face, you're going to very much see this grill that's grabbing into, throwing into this hood and the, the, the wing blade of the, uh, the watermark that's then piercing into the lenses. That's something you're going to see on the new yeah. generation of cars. So, so the front end we will see some of, You'll but the... You'll uh, definitely see the character of this. Yeah, definitely but the... See the uh, character. The rear, of course, this is a pure, let's say, sports model. So, of course, we've done things that are much more performance, aerodynamic driven, and that will not be anywhere near where the 9.3 yeah. is. You know, the 9.3 will be, of course, uh, very characteristic on the rear end of the car. Very, very soft in, in a very iconic way. Yeah. So we're, we're looking forward to, uh, to getting that on the stand a year from now. Excellent. All right. Is it a proud designer? <laughs> People are very excited about the uh, the badging on the car, the use of the um, the aeroplane badging. That's something for this concept more than for... Yeah, it is. It's, it's a bit of a, a tongue-in-cheek nod, of course, at the past of the aerospace routes and the tie into the door. I, personally, I love that badge. Yeah, I, yeah. I would love to use that badge. I, I don't know if that's possible. That's more of a, a legal discussion between, I think, um, the powers that be in, in Saab and, of course, the aerospace division, yeah. which are now separate companies. Uh, so I can't, I can't really give you anything further on that. For this project, yeah. you know, it's a concept. It's about the, the overall image and impact of it, and so it's something to. It's, it's a, a really nice touch. Yeah, it's a really it's nice fun. touch. All right. Well, thank you very much for the walk around. Oh, we appreciate pleasure. your work. You made a lot of friends this week, I think. Yeah, it's been a lot, fun. A lot of new friends. And, that we've created a lot of conversation. And yeah. That, that's what this is all about. It's really about getting people talking about Saab. You know, being a minnow in this giant ocean with these gigantic conglomerates, you need to create something that you know gets people excited, curious, even angry. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay, guys. That's all right. And a final question, just to confirm, you do own Aero, don't you? <laughs> Thanks very much.